What's going on guys? It's Kyle here. Back with another video. So today we're doing something a little different. This is just going to be my tips and tricks on how you can watch movies that are in theaters right now. Um, usually. But I'm just going to give you some tips and tricks real quick. So first things first, when you're on Temerary MTV, to get to the movies that are still in theaters, you have to click the arrow up top here and make sure it's selected in theaters. Now these movies will either be out on DVD or near the DVD release or are literally just in theaters. So my suggestion for movies that are still in theaters, um, I would give it about two to three weeks of it being in theaters. Sometimes for special cases it will be over a couple weeks. And then you can watch it usually in cam or TS quality. What I mean by that is Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle is a good example. Right now it's in TS quality. It's not perfect, but it, it, it's going to be coming through the back speakers of your TV or, well if you have a surround sound uh, system, it'll be going through the back of your t uh, the back uh, things. But as you can see, you're getting the uh, 720p's, uh, the, but the, as you can see, they're all cam. So they're going to look okay. So like if you're desperate like I am to see this movie, I would just watch the cam version. Because it is going to work, it's going to look decent, and I, I just recommend doing that. So this is my little uh, suggestion here. So as you can see, it doesn't look perfect, but the sound is coming out through the back speakers of my uh, surround sound. Let me skip ahead, just to show you what it looks like. So, you can't tell on the, on the phone, but it's it's okay. Like, it's an okay quality. So that's my recommendation for watching movies uh, that are still in theaters. The next thing you want to do is if you want to watch, a, uh, for like, for example, a movie that is not out on Blu-ray or DVD yet. For those, I would suggest waiting at least two to three weeks before it comes out on Blu-ray or DVD. So what I do is I look up the, the release date of the movie, so for example, I look up the release date of The Disaster Artist, and that says it's coming around, um, so for example, I choose, uh, where is it, we'll go for uh, Blade Runner, because Blade Runner is in HD right now. So, uh, for example, I'll choose, uh, let's see here, what's one that, um, I can get in HD, but it's not actually out yet. Uh, November Criminals. No, that's out yet too. Okay, that's already out. Uh, okay, so I know for a fact, though, that uh, Blade Runner 2049 is not out on Blu-ray yet. But it will be in like about a week. So what I say is wait at least two or one week before the Blu-ray is out, and you'll get a better, you'll get a full HD quality. And what I mean by that is I think this comes out in about a week, and when I click play, you will get like 1080p, or not, well, you won't get 1080p, but you'll get like Blu-ray quality uh, links. So what I'm saying is, um, for the first couple weeks, wait for the movie to come out. Um, so basically what I'm saying, if you're desperate, you can wait at least two, two weeks for a copy to come out on Terrarium. That is going to not be perfect but be acceptable and you can actually enjoy the movie and a couple weeks after that or maybe i don't know how long usually it takes for movies to come out on dvd or blu-ray recently they've been coming out quick because uh it came out on september it came out in theaters in september and now it's already out in blu-ray and it's um january so it took about october december or no october, <laughs> october november and december it took about three months for the movie to come out on blu-ray so what i would say is for the first couple weeks it's out in theaters, uh, wait for that long and then you'll get a, a decent link. And then maybe a couple months after that, nearing the release of the, of the Blu-ray or DVD of it, then you can start looking on Terrain again for great quality links, like HD links. So as you can see there's a 1080p one right here, and this movie's not even out yet on Blu-ray. This is a pretty big file size, so I don't know if it'll play or not. And uh, you can 
see this is a perfect quality, almost a 4K quality here. So yeah, this is a perfect sound, perfect uh, quality, everything is perfect in this. And that movie isn't even out on Blu-ray yet. So, what have we learned here today? Uh, movies that come out in, that are in theaters right now, uh, like for example, I'll give you an example right now that are still in theaters. Star Wars The Last Jedi is still in theaters. Well, it's been about a couple of weeks since it came out, so let's go and test out and see if we get, let's see what kind of quality links we get. I'm expecting a TS link or um, an HD where it says cam. For some reason this says 3.01 gigs. There's no way that file size is three gigs. Just wait for a couple more links. Okay, there's a 1080p CHD. So what I'm assuming this is it's going to be a, a TS link, which means it's going to be perfect quality, but there will be uh, the encoded subtitles. So yeah, this is what I expected. So this is Star Wars The Last Jedi, except, yep, there is the encoded subtitles. But it is perfect quality, like it's Blu-ray slash 4K quality. And it will do that sometimes, like there'll be a black bar at the bottom, but that was superior. Well, I know, now I'm also noticing now is the, uh, the sound is very, like, grainy and not very good at all. But I'll skip ahead to show you that it works perfectly fine. But there is encoded subtitles. I want to say that again. There are encoded subtitles. But it is a perfect quality. And the sounds are not very good too. So if you're willing to go through that, that's completely fine. You're going to be good to go. Uh, another one I think is still out in theaters. Um, Insidious The Last Key. Now that one recently just came out in January, so this one might not even have a TS link yet. Probably just have like a shaky cam link. We'll see. Alright, so there are cam links. That's good. There are definitely uh, HD cam links. So let's see how this one looks in about a couple seconds when uh, we get a photo link. I really don't feel like using Stream and Go, but it looks like we're gonna have to use Stream and Go, so let's go use Stream and Go. So, yeah, this is a slanted uh, little thing here. So, it is slanted, it's not really function properly. You won't be able to see the whole picture. And it's also in French. So this is definitely not... You're going to have to wait at least another couple of weeks for a better quality for that. Uh, another one, I think, Pitch Perfect 3. That one came out near the end of December. I'm going to try that one out. But, like, if you're willing to look at a terrible quality picture, then you're good. Like, this is perfect for you. But I, myself, have a little bit of standards, you know? So we're not even getting that many links for this one. And they're really low uh, file size as well. Now like I said before, the higher the file size, yeah this is a trailer. So we're going to have to wait a while for this one, maybe at least a couple more weeks. Uh, another one, I actually just watched this the other day, The Disaster Artist, you can check my uh, I start us my review on that, but uh, this one I did watch, and it was not in HD quality, but it was in SD quality. So it was perfect. It was like a D it was like a DVD stream kind of, like you're streaming the movie on a DVD quality. I think I used uh, the YM Streaming Go.
And I am using the latest version of Charm on TV as well. In case you were wondering. Which is 1.9.1. .1. Check my newest video before this one to see how to install that. Again, try uh, one full of movies. Yeah, so it's not HD. It looks like it is on the phone, but it really isn't HD quality. It's like a DVD quality link. Uh, I'm gonna do one more. We'll do Molly's game. That was a pretty new one, and I can confirm that it is still in theaters for the time of recording. It is still in theaters. written by Aaron Sorkin. Go ahead and wait for some more links. Yeah, this is a terrible quality. You can even see the heads of people at the theater. So yeah, I would wait a lot longer for that one as well. Alright guys, I think I'm done here. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please use these tips in mind. Listen to my tips. Hopefully you guys understand when you're using Terrain TV. Not every movie is going to be available for you. And you're going to have to wait a couple weeks or about a month or so. So thank you for watching. Remember these tips. Hope you guys have a great day. And peace out.